story. Nine years ago, this journey started for me. It started when I just decided I wanted to get better at football. I was playing college football. I rode the bench my freshman year. And after that, I was like, I'm gonna play next year, no matter what. So I got a mentor. This guy started to teach me all kinds of crazy training techniques, everything from meditation to energy training to help me str be stronger, faster, a better athlete. And I took these things and I went back to school and I did perform better. I ended up starting, I had some really good games, and that really solidified for me right there that, wow, like this thing between your ears really has a very strong effect on the physical reality and what the results we can create in the physical world are. And so from there on, I was hooked. And when I graduated college, I didn't have an exact place to put this passion for wanting to pursue this. I didn't have a, a second degree to pursue. I, I applied for some different programs, did not get accepted. And so what I decided to do, if you've seen episode one, is I started a mobile app company where I started creating apps to help people with everything from sleep to sports to anxiety, to stress. Like I was making apps to help people with everything that I saw people needed help with. And I was really passionate about this, but that company never really took off. And that's okay, but during that journey, it was just me kind of stacking bricks to get to where I am now. And the way I think about these, these attempts at trying to pursue these different paths about these things you care about is, like you're stacking bricks and you don't know when you're gonna build the thing that you want, you just know that you're putting in the work and eventually it's gonna work out. So during that time, I was building the app company. Actually was going, actually met my childhood hero, it was crazy. I was going out to a New York Knicks game in 2013. For those of you who don't know, I'm from New York, so diehard Knicks fan. And before I got on the plane, my hero, Alan Houston, shout out Alan Houston, 90s Knicks, uh, he was sitting outside the plane and I, of course, I had to go up to him and say, hey man, what's up? And so he started to ask me a little bit about my story. And so I told him about how I was doing the app company and I was trying to achieve, help people with peak performance and so on and so forth. And he was like, man, I, like, I think that's pretty cool. I think there might be an opportunity for you to work with the Knicks and create an app for us and the sports psychologists we have. And for me at the time, I was like, wow, like this is a dream come true. Like, are you kidding me? Like, oh! Like God, God, universe, how did you deliver this to me? Well, long story short, it did not work out. Uh, I was 22 years old and I didn't have the, 22, maybe I was 23, I didn't have the business acumen to pull off that deal and make it happen. But again, that was another brick stack, another opportunity that showed me that, hey, maybe this isn't the path that you're gonna take right now, but keep pushing forward. There is something here, just keep going. And so if I forward to today, I had a really cool experience with Graham sitting down with him and hearing his story and seeing how possible that it really is to pursue this path that I want, I'm just even more motivated. I'm more motivated, more inspired than I've ever been before to pursue this path. And so the main message I wanna get across is that you may not know what the thing is going to be that kind of puts you on and, and gives you that mainstream success, but that's okay. It's, the whole point is doing something that you enjoy along the way. So finding something where the process is enjoyable so you don't have to get the results or you don't have to get that you know, mainstream perceived success to feel good. Instead, the process feels good. Everything you do along the way feels good. Every brick you stack fulfills you, makes you feel filled up. It makes you feel like what you're doing matters. So this is my call to action for you today. If you don't know what you want to pursue, what you want to put intentional deliver practice on, keep looking, stay curious, be an adventurer. If you do know, understand that it's just going to take a while. Keep stacking bricks and enjoy the process. I believe in you 100%, all right? So if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, comment below, and keep stacking bricks.